Bogard Rippy, I'm over to Kenton for the Cushman Club of America and Mid Ohio Classic Scooter Swap Meet. It's um, after lunch time, Thursday, the 16th of May. So it's a different ball game. This is the Kenton Half Mile and the Grandstand. I'm just going to kind of meander up through here. But when the I was here two years ago and this was full and it was a Kenton National, I'll call it, or uh, Cushman of America National. I, I missed a, a guy just pulled out of here, but he has the truckster, we call that one. But over here is kind of a, you see these are clean as a pen. This isn't a repop. It's got the one long, it's the CB100. The beautiful blue and a off white, like a Wimbledon white. But there's no oxidation on the engine or the horn. It's like a one owner for sale, 2800 bucks. I mean, it's, it'll probably go on, be gone here soon. Those have to be new tires, I would think. You know, they almost look original though. Well, it has 2,700 miles on the clock. But I've seen them before, but just not this color. That's what they were doing in 72, I think. Or 73. So, yeah, I've got some parts. Here's, here's how the, um, the Vintage Motorbike Club and their, their membership and Shelby, that's a town for the lawnmowers. Toy haulers are they're riding, riding around on their rigs. Like at the front, yeah, there's the front. No, that's not a front of me. So he's got some rigs back here. And they're covered up in sheets in, in, the, in the trailer. They're, they're th he's got them three wide stacked in there. Classic Cushman's. He's got a diaper on him. It's the beginning of the show. It's, they're calling for rain. It's pretty wet here. More swap bags. These guys run a circuit. And I, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. So these have the, the shifter up here. And that's what I was wanting to see. And he has a handle over here for the brake I think or the clutch but you can only do one at a time and that Harley had a foot clutch and the suicide shift so yeah it'd be difficult to ride and the, the motor kind of set way back it's kind of neat how he has the bags on this one <laughs> this one's at almost 10,000 is that what I'm seeing what is that 2200 it's an eight horsepower 2200 on the money and this one's 4400 on the money check out that shotgun pipe how it fits in there i like to see there's these uh, salisbury's and they're very art deco to fit that in on this film so he has a two-seat bike it's side by side hmm Scooter sales. Interesting scooters. <coughs> Campground bike. A fat tire mini. And camo. He's got his um what do I call those? I forget. But this one over here has twenty five hundred miles on it or so. I wonder if it was a pre pop. Because it, it looks like a repop and new. And that's why I thought that one hundred was a repop. But it was original. These guys are from Michigan or, or something like that. The Middle High Scooter Classic Scooter Swap Meet. At Hardin County Fairgrounds in Canton. Yeah, this is on DAP. Which they were, um, I think, the largest manufacturers of motorcycles. Some sort of Zondap there. Got some cool licenses. Some nice trading stock bicycles 
ladies and men's possibly English $60 bicycle parts carbies I think I'll make it over to the Salisbury's in a roundabout way a Honda Passport so there's no pedals it's under 100 cc qualifies as a motorcycle it has the guard like a, a, a cub would the Honda uh, XL80 at only 1850 bucks. That's right. He was he was at 28 on the 100. So this is a cool custom on the end. This one's a Piranha. Kind of as new. Kind of uh, many bikes someone outgrew at 1700 on a Piranha, and he's got the price and it's scratched out. It says Ridley. I think that is a, a manufacturer. It's not a custom, it's some somebody named Ridley was doing that, is that what? It's at 4200 even on the Ridley. Kind of a, a fat bob looking. Hold my camera, completely wrong. That's a real XL88. So they were 75, so 80 came out later. Kind of on your age. They didn't have an 80, they had a 50 and a 75 and then they went 80. Here's the back of the grandstand. I remember this guy from last time. I was here two years ago. So this deserves more time, but I'm going to fit it into this video. Um, this show is smaller. I, I'm not going to get too many videos. So Tom Brim's got his parade truck out. And it, it's in the same condition it was two years ago. So I don't think it, he's taking the machines out. or Everything's strapped down where it was two years ago. This is Evil Knievel's Wembley Jump Bike, which he took like three of them over there. But this is the one that he wrecked and was fixed back up. And I've been in arguments about that statement, but I'll stand by it. Um, Bobby Knievel owned a motel here in Ohio and Richfield area. He jumped the semis up there in 74 and over by Salem or West Salem. I think he was even a citizen of Ohio through all his years living in Florida and but he the evil can evil homecoming days is out I think it's Billings Montana was out where he, he, he was in a he had a life of a lot of trouble in his life and it's hard to get through this glass to look into detail but you wonder how much of the bikes really Harley because that's all aftermarket racing you know so Harley had a race part of their factory, and they were building those XLs. You know, and I'm I didn't get into the Harleys or Evil Knievel too much, or the trouble part. And uh, but I just kind of get into it by association. And this bike here is Mark Springfield, uh, Massachusetts, Headstrom, H E D S T R O M, Headstrom engine. That's kind of classic 20s bike. Um, this is. This, this is a hundred year old motorcycle being made in the 20s. And, uh, they call that the mommy hauler. It's got the seat in the front. But this is a Henderson over here. So, And it says Indian Henderson. This other one's not to be confused with the other one. I'm not sure and then is this my favorite bike of all time or does this have a lot of aftermarket on it it's a hundred years old plus I mean it would take tons of research I'm, I'm looking at it. it it's not showing up on my film I'm, I'm looking how the frame was built back here it looks like it, it came off the assembly line yesterday look at the chain tightener it's like the most beautiful bike in the world. Did, was that what Henderson was really doing a hundred and some years ago? Or is, it, is this a repop? Uh, so for that reason, I don't know if it's my favorite bike or not. You, you know that one's original. Some good deals up there. And they're selling the hot dogs. And... It says sausage. Am, am I seeing the bologna guy? We, no flags up here. The gazebo. Okay, the Salisbury's are over here. They have a, a 
he has a big slide out on that little Ithaca. It's a, a reminder of the dolphin. I've seen them around. They all they run a circuit, like I said. These guys were over here. This is kind of the first day that the, the deals are gone, sort of. They was in here snapping this stuff up. We're going to tour this building. That'll be my next video. But it looks empty from here. Get another film somehow. This is mainly about they go riding together, these shows. But I forgot about these. Isn't that cute motorhome? She's got a plan out there. Really nice lady over here. Put my camera right. Looks like he's looking for a grill, a factory grill for one. The plastic. Get a filler in there. That was a cool unit. It was here two years ago. It was brand new then. It's a toy hauler. This one's worthy of looking over here. Look, look how rough this one is over here. This one's been setting. Look how long it is. That's what they were doing back then to get from point A to point B. Amazing. But this guy over here that was doing these Salisbury, he, he was the head of Northrop Grumman and his name was Salisbury. And it's an Art, art Deco boat tail. With a Continental cat. Three collars. And there's your gas. Looks pretty comfortable. And then it's swooped back. It carries over throughout. It's a piece of art. And my, my time's running out for the video. Because there's a, two more of them over here. Or one of them anyway. And I, I wonder if they set like that originally. It's kind of, it looks like it's ready to fly or it's, it's in the water moving. It's, it, it's just so smooth. Thanks for watching everyone. Book Road over here. Uh, Beauregard Rippy at the Hardin County Fairgrounds. With this uh, scooter show in the middle of May. Thanks.